Frank Maloney's heavyweights. He's from Massachusetts. They call him the quiet man. He was a very, very good amateur, and he's building up a useful pro record too. Let's see what he can do here. MC here is Mike Goodall. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Paul Exchange, it's big fight time. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event this evening, promoted by Frank Maloney for Panic Promotions, in association with Gordon Holmes, is an international heavyweight contest of 10 three-minute rounds. Introducing firstly in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks and coming from Manchester, a professional record of 19 contests. He had 12 wins, seven by way of KO with seven losses. Would you please welcome to the Manchester swinger, Michael Murray! And across the ring in the red corner wearing the royal blue trunks with the white trim from Boston, USA. 22 professional contests, 20 wins, 13 by way of KO with two losses. The quiet man, John Ruiz. The way in today, Murray scaled 16 stone, 2.5 pounds, the rest 15 stone, 11 pounds. Your officials appointed for this contest by the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge this evening, the Assistant General Secretary of the British Boxing Board of Control, Mr. Simon Block, the timekeeper, Mr. Nick White, the referee, Mr. Dave Farris. So Dave Farris experienced referee for this one. I must say, uh, Michael Murray there, who has fought in the past for the British heavyweight title, he was badly beaten that night by Herbie Hyde, doesn't look in the best of shape for this one. He had, in fact, uh, gone down to cruiser for a while. He's back at heavyweight. This is Ruiz, the 23-year-old American, who's with the Frank Maloney stable. Ruiz from the same state that produced Marvin Hagler and Rocky Marciano. Not suggesting he's anything like that class yet, but he's uh, reeled off 21 wins against a couple of defeats so far. As Ruiz. But uh, Murray is coming off a pretty good win. He's just beaten the former Commonwealth champion, Derek Williams, in his last fight. So that was some better form from him. Ruiz in the blue trunks. Murray with the clubbing little rights in this rather mauling start to the contest. Ruiz has beaten his fair, of, fair share of cotton wool opponents on the way, but he's uh, beaten the likes of Julius Francis. He knocked him out in four rounds, Southern Area champion. And he beat the St. Louis prospect, Boris Powell, as well. And his last fight was a first-round win, Ruiz over the 38-year-old Jack Basting, who calls himself the Fighting Timberjack. Maloney has high hopes of him. Let's see if he can fulfill them. Murray was with the Jack Trickett stable in Manchester. He's won 12 and lost 7 so far in his career but he really was found wanting on his biggest night to date when he fought for the British heavyweight championship against Herbie Hyde beaten in five rounds Ruiz started off as a cruiserweight but now is uh, put on the weight he's 15 stone and 11 pounds for this one Slightly tentative look about that jab that Murray's throwing out. The better punch is coming from Ruiz in this opening round. That's a good stiff jab of his. Ruiz was a top-class amateur and an American international. And you don't become uh, an international in the United States that easily. Standard is very, very hot. Good 
body punching from Ruiz. First round here, top of the bill at the Ipswich Corn Exchange, and Ruiz will have taken that opening round. You think you've seen it all, Go. and what happens? Up pop. The new 100 Kensington. Above all, it's a rover. Second out, round two. Second round. Brewers in the blue trunks. Murray, the former British heavyweight title contender, in the uh, whitish trucks. They look a bit sky blue, don't they? I don't know whether something happened to them in the wash. Right. Gain out of range with his jab, Murray, but Ruiz coming in with that good round rod looking punch of his. Much more confident look about Ruiz in these opening exchanges. And again, crunching right hand into the side of Murray's head and he's caught by the left hook as well trouble here for Michael Murray in round two Gru is looking pretty handy here Murray actually lost two and a half stones after his defeat by Herbie Hyde and went back down to cruiserweight. He lost to Terry Dunstan though when he came back. Dunstan who's just uh, won the British cruiserweight title against Dennis Andres. Then he went back to heavyweight again and here he is at 16 stone, two and a half pounds. So the uh, weight has been all over the place really for Murray. Looks a bit blobbery I must say at this weight. Ruiz again teeing off with the right hand. Murray's got a good right hand. He can be a bit predictable and usually is not the most powerful hitter in the division either. Murray is trying to let go with that right hand, not making any contact though, Murray. It's been out of range quite a bit. But this is honey punch though, that right. <laughs> At the moment, the man from Massachusetts in control over the man from Manchester. Countdown towards the end of round two and a good body punch there, the left hook. He's mixing it up well too, Ruiz. Hi, I'm Sadie. I'm Darren. I go out of a lovely girl called Binny. I'm Billy. I hate the lads. Flowery dresses. I like chicks. Chicks? Birds, babes. <laughs> Women? I've got a very good man who takes care of me. I have some pet frogs. Frozen cows. I've got a pigeon chest. Spots? Round here. And my forehead, my nose. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Just oxycutin. Oxy 10. Spots? Oxycutin with Oxy 10. And this is Oxy 10. All right. <laughs> and Murray under some pretty heavy bombardment in the opening couple of rounds here. He'll have lost both of them, I'm pretty sure, on the scorecard of referee Dave Paris. Had no amateur experience at all, Murray, before going into the professional ranks. There's one of the right hands from Ruiz. And he really fancies it, doesn't he, Ruiz here? 
third round. Murray badly needing something to try to turn the tables here. Not quite sure whether he actually has the armory to do that. Good right uppercut inside. I must say Ruiz has come on a bit from the last time I saw him. There'll be some more serious questions to be asked of him in the days ahead, but I would think Frank Maloney would be pretty pleased with the work his man's been doing in here tonight. Remember, he is fighting a man who's uh, just come off that good win over Derek Williams, and he also stopped the decent German Marcus Bott in Germany, and Bott went on to become the WBO Cruiserweight Champion after that, so that really was a good win by Murray. Setbacks since, though. lunging really Murray he's not really landed with anything very significant that's sharper from Ruiz who'd been made to miss a couple of times previously in the round the left hook was better too and the right hand got through he just staggered for a moment there and hurt I think Murray he's feeling the weight of these punches oh that's hurtful work to the body from the American oh and down goes Murray it was the cumulative effect I think of those punches the final clubbing right he needed to take a breather on one knee only for a couple of seconds he might have done better to just stay down and clear his head a bit longer Ruiz is really beginning to unload on him here I'm not sure there's any way back for Michael Murray in this one mixing it up to head and body Ruiz oh and another punch to the body the right hand this time right into the ribs and Murray's down for the second time in the round needed the belt Well, Michael Murray is in desperate trouble here down twice in that third round and John Ruiz is putting up a pretty impressive performance here though I must say that Murray looks to be carrying a bit of excess baggage into this fight and hasn't been particularly competitive that was the first of the knockdowns where Murray just wanted a brief respite and then that right into the rib cage it really makes you winch just watching it three rounds gone three increasingly torrid rounds for Michael Murray Second round, round four. fourth round Ruiz in the blue trunks remember and bang on top here and again right at the start of the round just reminding Murray that there's plenty more to come there's a real devil about the work of Ruiz serious intent with all those shots Murray's gloves drop down by his side the referee steps in he stopped it he stopped it he's seen enough of it well it was becoming increasingly one-sided and John Ruiz has a very good stoppage win on his record there in four rounds over 
a former British heavyweight title contender in Michael Murray, who was just outgunned. He was setting himself for those punches, Ruiz. He was letting them go with some real menace. Head and body punches. Dropping Murray twice in the third round, stopping him in the fourth. This was a good performance. And Frank Maloney may have a pretty useful fighter on his hands here. He has had a couple of defeats, remember, in his 23 fights before this. But uh, against decent opposition. But Ruiz wins this convincingly. Very convincingly. Ladies and gentlemen, after 51 seconds of round four, the referee has stopped the contest. Michael Murray in no position to continue. The winner, John the Quiet Man Ruiz. Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation well, for some, very good sport in those big things on his Michael mind, Murray. I would think, Ruiz now, and Frank Maloney may have some big plans for him. Where does Murray go from here, though? Ladies and gentlemen, the quiet man has a word for you, so please, your best of order, thank you. I want Frank Bruno. Yeah, yeah. Bruno. Well, Tomorrow that's an interesting thought, isn't it? Frank Warren's table of a quarter of a million pounds for Frank Bruno to fight John Ruiz at Portland Road, Ipswich. Well, how about that? They want Frank Bruno. Whether they can get Frank Bruno is quite another matter. Mr. Bruno has Oliver on a call on his mind, but uh, uh, it's all good publicity.